Hello everyone, welcome to my channel at Variety. My name is Kushbu and in this video we are going to discuss about one of the very important topic in context of big data that is something called as scale up versus scale out. So first let us understand what is this scale up versus scale out. So till now I hope you would be clear with the concept of big data. So the data having high volume or it's generated with a high velocity having high variety is considered as big data. So to maintain that big data which is getting generated with high speed to manage that big data or to store that big data, big data engineer used to face many challenges. So to overcome those challenges, we are going to discuss two approaches which is nothing but scale up and scale out we will discuss about these two approaches one by one so let us first start with the scale up approach and then after we will jump to scale out so let's take an example for the time being i have a requirement of a system having 20 gb of disk size and 2 gb of ram so for that i'll configure a system according to my need Suppose for some reason my requirement is going to change tomorrow and I need a system having 40 GB of disk size and 5 GB of RAM. So what I'll do? I'll replace my previous system with some other system. For that, I'll have to migrate my data which is present in my first system to this system, right? So I'll have to transfer my whole data that is present in the first system to the second system. Because the first system is not sufficient enough to store my data that I require. That is why I need to configure this system instead of keeping this system because my need has been changed. That is why I am configuring some new system having specification of 40 GB and 5 GB of RAM. Let's suppose for some reason my requirement has again changed. Now I need a system having configuration of let's say 80 GB of this size and let's say 16 GB of RAM. Then what I'll do? I'll not be able to manage my requirement with this particular system, right? So I need to configure again a new system having this specification right that system should have 80 gb of rom that is hard disk and 16 gb of ram right so i'll be again configuring a new system and transferring my data from second system to the third system again i'll transfer my whole data or information that is present in the second system to the third system so in this kind of system where each and every time whenever my requirement is going to change we are transferring our data from the first system to the next system this is going to increase nothing but overhead and also this process is not feasible is not reliable in the real world where we are continuously generating a huge volume of data at higher speed or with a high velocity so this scale up approach is not feasible or not reliable approach for a long term where each and every time whenever my requirement is going to change i have to change the system or i have to migrate my whole data from existing system to the next system now this is all about scale up let's move to the scale out approach and look what are the approaches that we use to follow in scale out approach so now let's discuss about the scale out approach. Let's consider the similar example that we took in the scale up approach. Suppose for the time being today I have a requirement of a system having 20 GB of hard disk and 2 GB of RAM. So what will we do? We will configure a system with this specification that is of 20 GB of hard disk and 2 GB of RAM. Now, for some reason, tomorrow my requirement is going to change. So what I'll do here in scale out approach, I'll not change my system. I'll not be transferring all the data from the previous system to the next system. 
instead i am going to add one another system with the first one so this will be the first system and this will be the second system so there is no such requirement of transferring my data set from the first system to the second system so by this way whatever new volume of data that is going to be generated we can keep to the existing system by combining one another system with the previous one so here what i did whenever my requirement is going to change suppose here i needed 40 gb of disk size and 5 gb of ram i just attached one new system with the existing system right now again for some reason if my requirement is going to change and now this time i require 80 gb of disk size and 16 gb of ram Again, for this specification, I need not to change my existing system. What I'll do? I'll just be adding one extra system with the existing one. So I need not to migrate or transfer my data from this system to that system. So by this way, all of that system will be able to communicate with each other. They'll be able to share all the metadata with each other. So by following this scale out approach, we are trying to reduce the data migration and this overhead problem. By this way, this scale out approach is much better and convenient approach as compared to the scale up approach. And nowadays in industry, this scale out approach is being used on a higher scale. So based on this scale out approach, whole HDFS system has been designed. That is Hadoop distributed file system has been designed. Here, there are different different clusters that has been integrated. They used to communicate with each other. Also, one more important thing about this scale out approach is Google has released a paper called as GFS that is Google file system in which it has demonstrated that this scale out approach is much convenient and reliable approach as compared to scale up approach which could solve big data challenge in a higher scale. So overall this scale out approach is the great approach which solves the big data challenge. I hope you understood what is scale up approach and scale out approach and what is the difference between these two approaches so if you would have learned something from this video then please do like share and subscribe to my channel till then keep learning and stay tuned for getting the latest videos thank you so much